Yeah, you know, and that's a great point, Kaylee. We're starting to at least be able to see some of the damage. We're on Banana Place over here in downtown Sarasota. And as you can tell right now, this street is completely washed out. I mean, you could just see how deep the water goes. I'm going to just stand here for a second to just give you an idea of what we're looking at. We saw this cone that was actually out in a garage over there. It just washed out completely into the street and that's what we're really seeing right we've talked about the widespread flooding that took place all over because of that incredible storm surge between five to six feet out here in the sarasota area and a lot of the downtown area of course was underwater a lot of that standing water and before they had the john ringling causeway completely closed down that's one of those main thoroughfares that people can access and get across to St. Armand's. That is starting to slowly open back up, but you can just tell by the water, right? Just taking a look at the water, how much there is. So you can still see it rushing through. We're starting to have a lot of those wind gusts still pick up. So it's still pretty strong out here, but we talked about it, right? The storm surge, the six to eight feet, the abnormal water levels above sea level, and just how much of the area really was inundated with the water and Jameson, I thought you made a great point before when you mentioned a lot of people don't understand storm surge and we saw so many posts from friends and other people on Facebook and all over social media about how they lived in Florida for years and they weren't going to evacuate they were going to stick it out in their house and of course you see a lot of those same people posting that they were stuck they couldn't get out they needed help so many people underestimated it because there wasn't a lot of rain wasn't a lot of wind early on in the afternoon they really didn't know what was coming and of course now you're seeing just the repercussions of that so many people out of power so many people stranded so many people needing to be rescued so it's really just an unbelievable turn of events what we're seeing here this morning yeah, yeah. And, and talk about people being stranded nick you're, you're down there in sarasota uh i'm, I'm kind of wondering how you're going to get back into town we've got all the bridges closed down so uh you know hopefully you're set down there for just a little bit uh because you know this is this is an area too, uh, not downtown necessarily, Nick, but Sarasota County that had flooding after Debbie and they were literally still pumping water out of some of their neighborhoods yeah. just a week ago. Yeah. Uh, you know, so hopefully we can get some updates on them as well. Uh, are you, you, you surprised by the flooding that you're seeing even, even in the downtown area? Yeah, you know, and that's a great point, Jameson. You really are surprised by the amount of water you're seeing and you talked about it just the amount of people that had to clean up still after Debbie, that so many people were underwater, still pumping water out of their homes from out here to Azuna. So many places that were just inundated with water and with flooding. And as a matter of fact, we know that there were a lot of people who really didn't anticipate this to get as bad as it did. And of course, now they're going to have to pick up all those pieces after before. As for getting home, uh, you know, that's a, that's a different question. I really wish I had an answer to. I'll tell you what I won't be doing while I'm waiting to try to get back. I will not be re watching a replay of the, uh, the game last night because uh, I stayed up to watch that and uh, I don't need to see it again. Yeah. All right, Nick, yeah. Nick reporting for us down there in Sarasota County. Nick, did the Giants lose last night? Yeah, they did. So oh. he's, he's, he's definitely More bad news this morning. Yeah, all right.